Hello, my beautiful Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Welcome to your general reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, Gemini. So before we get started on your message, please remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Also remember that the cards represent energies that, that any gender can embody. So let's get started. Message for Gemini. Message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Oops, drop a card. Message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Let me see, Gemini. Let's see. You have the Nine of Cups paired with the Six of Pentacles. Message for Gemini. Tell us more about Gemini's message. Let's see, Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Someone here was not following their heart. Okay, let me see, Justice. Okay, Gemini, okay. So this could be about you. It's most likely your message, but um, sometimes it could be about someone who you're connected to. So just feel free to reverse the roles. If I say that you did something and you know it was them, then just reverse it, okay? But... One second. The Nine of Cups, okay? The Nine of Cups talks about uh, fulfillment, satisfaction, feeling content, feeling good. Um, the Six of Pentacles talks about uh, reciprocity, balance, equal give and take, investing rightfully. Let's see what's going on here. Tell us more about this Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Tell us more about this Nine of Cups. You have the lovers. I think someone here was being a little bit greedy. Uh, the Nine of Cups is also another card that may represent greed. You know, someone who is very selfish, um, self-indulgent, should I say, self-indulgent, greedy, um, sort of cocky. Um, the lovers represent soulmates, but it could also represent choices. I feel, Gemini, that... You, in the beginning, you were feeling very confident, very content, and very, very fulfilled because it looks like you were dealing with two people. You were getting fulfillment from two people, okay? And remember, you can reverse the roles, okay? Gemini, if this wasn't you, then it was probably someone who you were dealing with. But someone here um, was getting a whole lot of fulfillment, a whole lot of satisfaction. They were getting their way. They were, they were getting benefits from the two connections that they were in. They were dealing with two people. And it's almost like, because the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles is not here. I feel like in the beginning, you were, you were like, um, or whoever this person is, whether it's Gemini or the person who's connected to Gemini. In the beginning, someone was living the life. Someone was living a very self-indulgent life. They were getting fulfillment from multiple people or several people, um, and there was balance here. It's almost like they had one person maybe for physical pleasure and then they had the other person for emotional emotional pleasure. Because uh, I'm really seeing someone here who was like ahead of the game, okay? They were uh, an experienced player. And the lovers, a choice. A choice between two people, two things. A choice between your higher self versus your lower self, you know? Um, this person here was really just living the life, okay? Um, tell us more about the lovers. Tell us more about the lovers. And the lovers even represents Gemini. Clarify the lovers. Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So, one of them clearly... Even though this person was was dealing with two people, I feel like these two lovers that they had to choose between, but they were not choosing, they were getting the best of both worlds. The, these two lovers were drastically different in a way. Um, on one of my decks, the lovers, it's like um, you see a man who's in the middle of two women. And um, it's it's this deck that I'm talking about, but I don't feel like looking through it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna describe the image. 
In this deck that I just showed you, the lovers is depicted as three people, a man standing in between two women. And the women look very different. One woman looks very sexy, seductive, and attractive. The other woman looks attractive as well, but she's more modestly dressed. She looks much more innocent. So as much as it's a decision between two people, I also, oh, I also feel like it's a decision between your higher self and your lower self. The two lovers represent um, your higher self and your lower self, okay? Most times in situations like this, one lover is more so karmic, very tempting and seductive, whereas the other lover is more pure and divine. And if you choose the, the, the tempting, seductive one, you're most likely choosing a karmic or you're choosing your lower self. Um, and you're rejecting the other lover who is of the divine, who is of purity, because of temptation, right? You're tempted by the other lover who looks more seductive. Um, this, it's it's clear now to this player, whether it's you, Gemini, or the person you were connected to, it's clear now to this player that only one lover was actually the one. They were only supposed to commit to one person. Okay? Only one person one lover is the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is all about loyalty and commitments. The queen of pentacles represents someone who's very successful, very stable, and very secure. And notice how the knight of pentacles is here. The knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy. I almost feel like this player here now wants to make a late arrival and commit to the Queen of Pentacles. Because this player being a knight, and the knights are the immature ones of the deck, Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. It's typically someone who has encountered delays, obstacles, blockages, challenges. This could have been someone who was under the influence of the devil, as in they were, they were um, easily seduced by the material world the physical world, money, fame, status, sex, lust, you know, addictions, obsessions, the list goes on, greed. Now it looks like they've had this really last minute realization that between the two lovers that they had, only one of them is the queen of pentacles. This person felt like they were living the best of both worlds. They felt like two of the lovers, they felt like both lovers were beneficial to them. They felt like both lovers were valuable. So they didn't want to choose, but come to find out only one lover is the one. Only one lover is truly valuable. And now this player wants a six of wands. They want victory. They want to fight for their queen of pentacles. Page of Wands. So pages represents communication, a relaying of information, a message. Typically, the Page of Wands is good news or a message that does bring passion and optimism. And behind the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, which, re which represents a passionate beginning. Someone here may express their feelings. Tell us more about this Page, page of Wands. There may be an expression of feelings. Yeah, there will. Queen of Cups is here. I feel like this um, this Queen of Cups is about to receive some good news from this player that this player wants to um, commit to them, that this player has an offer, but Four of Cups. They're going to be rejected. The player will be rejected with the Four of Cups. In the player's mind, they feel that this communication is going to bring back the spark. Whatever they this player feels like, whatever they say to the Queen of Pentacles, it's going to make her want want them back. It's going to make this Queen of Pentacles want them back, okay? Um, remember, the cards are not gender specific. So apply it to your situation the way, the way um, it resonates with you. But they feel like there's this cockiness. The Nine of Cups, this is a cocky person. They feel like they know all the right things to say. They feel like they know exactly what this queen of pentacles wants to hear from them so they're gonna they're gonna do that they're gonna present to her a message um they're gonna use the right words you know with a lot of passion 
that they know this Queen of Pentacles wants to hear. And they're confident that it's going to secure an Ace of Wands, a passionate beginning between the two of them. But I, I feel like there is a lack of, um, what's the word? Sorry, I'm getting like a brain fart. There is, um, there's a, a lack of, it's been so long, you know, uh, Knight of Pentacles is such a slow moving energy. It's been so long since the two of them dealt with each other. There's like this, um, they don't realize, this player does not realize that this Queen of Pentacles is not the same. This Queen of Pentacles could have really evolved, now knows their worth, knows their value, um, and is not the same person that they were able to play in the past. Because I see someone who's very cocky, confident, ready to say, you know, some sweet words, sugarcoat things, you know, thinking that it's going to get this Queen of Pentacles just running back to them. But actually, they're going to get rejected with the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is rejection, unfulfillment, feeling left out in the cold. I don't even think that they're going to get a response, honestly. This Queen of Pentacles may not even respond. Clarify the Four of Cups. Knight of Cups. Yeah. The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups represents um, someone who wants to make amends, someone who has a friendly, kind, or even a romantic gesture that they want to extend to this Queen of Pentacles. Who's going to be feeling this rejection? Them, the person who wants to make amends. They're going to be feeling rejected and unwanted. Mm. Tell us about this Queen of Pentacles. Tell us about this Queen of Pentacles. Wow. King of Wands. This Queen of Pentacles is embodying a masculine energy of a King of Wands. King of Wands is a defender, a protector, stands his ground, innovative, ambitious, determined. Um, it could even represent that this Queen of Pentacles um, is upset and maybe even angry, you know, and feels very defensive. Um, on the back, you have the death. The death represents an ending. I, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles has transformed and that's the the lack of connection there this player does not know that this queen of pentacles is not the same person that they dealt with from the past this queen of pentacles knows her worth the queen of pentacles is all about value and worth look at her she's a, she's patient she's a diligent worker look at her looking down at her pentacle Okay, this great big blessing here. She knows her worth and she's only willing to give it to, to the right person. She also is very confident. King of Wands is extremely confident, uh, very protective, very defensive. This is someone who knows how to stand on their own, stand their ground. This is not someone who, who can be easily manipulated. Maybe in the past, this player was able to easily manipulate this Queen of Pentacles, but not anymore. I feel like this player is is about to get a rude awakening they they don't expect this at all yeah death is an ending as one door closes another door opens right after death there's rebirth so i do see this queen of pentacles will definitely i feel this queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles has already ended things but once this uh player gets back to her she's definitely going to make it clear to him that it's over Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get some insight on the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you guys, she has a new beginning, male or female. Whoever is embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy, they have an Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups represents a divine grant, a divine gift of a blessed new beginning. You see the Dove, the Communion, the Helping Hand of the Most High, the Cup overflowing with blessings and anointing. This Queen of Pentacles has been granted this blessed new beginning that is why the death came out she has chosen i feel like this queen of pentacles has made a final decision to wrap this up wrap up this past situation with this player and to move forward 
and she knows that the divine has her back because the divine has a new beginning for her yeah the star everything that she has manifested during this period of being patient and diligent she's about to see all of her manifestations in real life she's about to enjoy the fruits of her labor in this new beginning So I'm going to end the reading here. We're going to continue it in the extended. We're going to uncover the messages of the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles talks about someone who has an attachment, refusing to let go. I, I kind of feel like it's this player here who does not want to let go, who's very stingy and selfish. They came out as the Seven of Swords. There's some sneaky stuff that they've been doing. Seven of Swords is a very sneaky, scandalous person. You know, it's like lying, cheating, manipulating, deceiving, sabotaging, stealing, just doing something sneaky, not wanting to get caught because they want to hold on to this Queen of Pentacles. And then we're also going to uncover the messages of the Justice card, okay? The Justice card, it does come out if there was an injustice in the past. It's all about balance and fairness being restored so we're going to uncover more of these messages i definitely feel that this player is not going to back down easily i see them here being very stingy very stingy selfish and there's some sneaky stuff that they've been doing but the fact that the reading ends with justice justice will be served but we'll look more more into this message in the extended um, if you're interested in viewing the extended, it's going to be link linked in the description box, okay? And all my other info on how to connect with me more, it's also in the description box. So you're welcome to take a look there. But thank you guys so much for your support. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys. Please be safe and stay blessed.